Please kindly notice that the UI has been renewed. Similar tools are grouped and after tape feature is added. Click on a fabric style. Then you can adjust its properties in Property Editor. There are two sections of properties, material and physical property. In material, you can adjust the item's texture and reflection. There is a same section in other items property editor. In material section, you can toggle to adjust different faces material. Select textured face. You will see there will be black and white part in the garment. The darker part shows the back face of the garment. Toggle off to not use same material. You can adjust the type here. You can choose the reflection type to express fabric gloss more realistically as needed. Click to select desired texture image. Then you can see the texture are applied on the pattern both in 2D and 3D window. Toggle on desaturation to maintain the texture of texture images or patterns while changing colors. Adjust shadow intensity as desired. Adjust shadow brightness as desired. When you adjust the value of normal map intensity, there will be automatically normal map generated. You can adjust the intensity from positive to negative. Also, you can import normal map as desired. Click on the color chip beside color, then you can visit the palette. You can adjust the color of texture. Select the eyedropper tool to extract the desired color. Also, you can add the color you select now to the palette. You can load the palette from other software as desired. In Reflection section, you can adjust the gloss of the fabric. First, you can toggle to use Map or Intensity to adjust the gloss. Edit fabric gloss by adjusting intensity of the roughness. Greater the reflection intensity value is, more reflective the material or fabric is. When you choose roughness map to adjust the gloss, you can choose map texture as desired. Once you adjust the value of roughness and reflection intensity, you will see the roughness are changed. Toggle on Invert to invert the gloss of the fabric. You can adjust the transformation of the texture below. You can only adjust the applied texture's transformation. You can adjust the width and height. So if the fabric is applied with normal map and texture, you can edit their transformation. When you select Edit Texture Tool, you will see the grain lines of the pattern. Grain line indicates the warp direction. It's perpendicular to the weft direction. You can select preset physical property as desired.
These preset properties are measured. Choose a desired preset fabric. When you choose chiffon, the garment gets longer. It's because the detailed properties are different. Also, you can adjust the detail properties as desired. First part of it is stretch. Use the weft, warp, and shear stretch intensities to show the resistance against the horizontal, vertical, and diagonal elasticity according to the 2D window. It means when the value is higher, the fabric is harder to stretch. When the value is lower, the garments will be easy to stretch and gets longer. Next part is bending. Use bending intensity, which is the resistant against being bent, to adjust the stiffness of fabric. When the value is lower, the garment will be soft and easy to bend. You can see the dress is bent. If the value is higher, the garments will get closed to leather. The folds will become bigger and garments are harder. Then you can adjust bucking ratio. Use this function to reflect the tendency of fabric trying to preserve its shape, then being bent when applying certain amount of force. The closer the bucking ratio gets to 100%, the more it becomes bendable fabric, such as silk and jersey. You can see the shearing around the sewing line are disappeared, and the drape is maintained. Adjust how much percentage of total bending intensity to use to decide the buckling stiffness of the corners of fabric. This is used alongside bending weft warp. When the value is lower, you can see the folded parts get softer. Use internal damping to set resistance against the bouncing speed of garments. Increasing the internal damping value is going to cause the garment to slow down as if it is in underwater. You can adjust the density of the fabric. Adjust friction to avoid pattern sliding from avatar or other garments. You can save the fabric file as desired. Then, you can adjust the preview image of the fabric file. After selecting the save address and name, click Save. Also, you can open the saved file. 